Today we will be assembling the Dice Train Organizer by Tabletop Armory. To begin we're going to do the Dice Train portion first, which will have your artwork on it. Uh, we will need to correct this, choose the correct side panels. You'll see there are two sets of them, but they are in a different height from each other. We want the taller section, so the shorter ones here we're going to put off to the side. Take your art piece, flip it over, and we're going to be working on the back. Now these four wall pieces are going to slot into the sides here. Two are longer than each other. And you want to make sure that these little tabs that poke out go towards your piece. And here we go. Now that we've dry fit it, we're going to grab our handy super glue. And we're going to put a bead straight down here. We're also going to catch these tabs at the top. And catch these tabs at the bottom. Get all the tabs on this one. Oh, we're going to have to place a bead down here and catch these tabs also. We're going to lift up these two sides, lock them in at the corner, make sure to press along the edges just to make sure all your tabs get into place. Pay close attention into the crack here, into the corner, just to make sure that everything is pushed together firmly. And give that not too long, because we're going to want to take advantage of all the glue on the tabs that we've done. So we're going to rip a bead down here glue on those tabs, and then lift this piece. Again, check your inside, press inward, and press downward. Good. And for the last section here, we're going to give ourselves another bead, and put some on our tabs. Beautiful. And we're going to lift that into place. There we go, beautiful. Now that those are all up, you want to go along your edges and see if there's any glue seepage anywhere. Looking good. Make sure to pay attention to the corners as you go past them, but we are looking good. All right, perfect. We're gonna give this one just a moment to dry. While it's drying though, let's set aside. And we're going to grab this frail looking piece, choose the side that you think looks nicer, and make sure that one is pointed down on your mat, because we're going to apply glue to the back side. Apply glue to every tab around the edge. Just on the tab though, you don't need to apply glue to the inner piece. Just the outside tab, not the inside line. Once your ring here has glue along all the tabs, we're going to have to bring our main body, or our dice tray body back. Flip it over so the glue is facing down. Pick one side and start slotting it in. And go around the outer edges until everything is slotted in. Good. Once it's there, make sure that everything is pressed into place. Sometimes it needs a minute of just being held. I like to hold it in the four center pieces here for just about 10 seconds or so. 
Sometimes a little longer, and that usually gives the glue just long enough to become tacky. Again, make sure there's no glue seeped out along any of the edges. Again, we'll let this dry. While the top piece super glue is drying, we're going to start assembling the bottom here. Uh, we're going to need these four sections down here. You have these two long bars with the slots on them. These other two that have the tabs on, these all have the tabs on the bottom. We're going to apply some glue to just these, between these cutouts here in all the corners, like so. There we go, just to give some extra strength. Uh, we're then going to slot in these pieces first. These two pieces are identical, and they go on the shorter edges. Good. We'll take one of the longer pieces and we're going to apply glue into this corner here. Flip over and apply to the other corner. Good. And I'm going to insert it on the edge here. We're not too worried about it being a perfect yet. Uh, we're going to do the same to the other one. And slot it in. All right, and then we're going to press our corners in to each other. Don't like to do it from opposites. Make sure it's all pressed down. Looking good. Looking good, make sure there's, if there's any seepage here, get yourself a little paper towel, clean it up. Perfect. That will be the assembly, the outer walls. And we have four pieces here. Choose this long one first. Make sure that this little tab points towards your base. Just like that. We're gonna go two at a time. Put that in, put a second one in, fold it, turn it. I'm going to put a bead of glue straight down here and make sure to catch these tabs on the end because we'll need that when we wrap back around. That bead of glue all the way down. Catch these tabs on the corner here, all these tabs, and then put a bead of glue, catches all these tabs, and We'll catch these tabs also. Great. Let's go ahead and lift these into place. A firm press. Make sure it's pushed down appropriately. And we're going to keep going around. Another long piece. Catch our tabs. And our final piece. One last rip of glue there. And all of our tabs. Perfect. Press on the corners. Just to ensure everything is nice and firm. And, and make sure to inspect all your edges. Good. All right, we're gonna give this a minute to dry. We're gonna set it aside. While it's drying, we're going to grab the second square piece, find the side that's uglier, and that's the side you'll glue on. Repeat the same as first, and apply glue to all the tabs. After your glue is applied to all your tabs, bring the bottom back in, flip 
flip it over and start slotting in. We're gonna go around here. And just like before, we wanna make sure that it is on the, or is connected as it should be. This one seems to have come in pretty good here, but nonetheless, I'm going to hold at the center of the four edges just for 10 seconds or so while the glue becomes tacky. Yep. Just to make sure. Make sure to visually inspect it. Looks good. The bottom piece is mostly assembled, just checking for any glue seepage. Nope, looks good. And for the trickier part of the build today, we're going to need our we're going to need our cloth. We're going to need our top dice tray portion with our artwork. Uh, I'm going to use white glue, and I'm going to have two pieces of paper towel here. See in a moment why. Uh, we're going to set the cloth aside for the moment, and we're going to take the glue. Open her up and apply in a random pattern here, but I just want to make sure there's an even amount everywhere. You don't want to over apply, you can always apply more later, but you don't want to over apply. Then you also want to put some on each of the insides of the walls. Like a bead or two. Perfect. Hopefully that's all the glue we need. Uh, take one of your pieces of paper towel. I'm going to fold it in half. Fold in half again. If you're like me, fold in half one more time. And we're going to be using this as an applicator for our glue. This piece of paper towel is just so we don't get glue on our mat. And for cleanup. So we're going to take our our paper towel here and we're going to smear this glue so it's a nice thin layer do the same on all these edges here beautiful sometimes it collects in the corners pretty heavily you can see it did there. We just want to kind of work it out of there so that it doesn't become a problem. Good. So I'm just place that there. Now we're gonna, we're gonna put this so a long edge is near us and far away from us. And we're gonna bring in our piece of cloth. Inspect your cloth, see if there's one side that looks just a little bit nicer than the other. No two pieces of cloth are the same. We're going to start by installing on the far edge. Let's see if I can show this to you best. Now we're going to take our cloth here and hold it by the corners. I'm going to slide it against this inner wall here. Make sure that it's far enough to the left and far enough to the right. Centered. And we want to make sure the top of it reaches this inner lip. There we go. There we go. And we're going to hold this piece of cloth in place. And take your finger and kind of run it into the corner here to stuff it in. You might have to come back, pull it back up in, just kind of work it in place. There's no magic behind it. Once you're satisfied with that edge, you turn it so the other long edge is away from us. We're going to kind of push this down into place. You want any excess of cloth like this to be in the middle and bunch up a little bit and we'll take care of it later. So this you're going to lower into place until it reaches the top here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to 
stuff it into the corner, run along our finger, just to get a nice crisp edge. Looks good. Sides are right. Let me choose either one of the other sides. I like to start off just by running my finger in there. Look at that. Just sets it right into place where it needs to be. And our last piece here, sometimes the most trickiest one. Yep, we're going to have to pull on the center of the cloth here to right, let it come down. There we go. Because the first and foremost, you want to make sure it's under the lip. You need to push this into the corner a little bit. Good. Good. Make sure we get that nice crisp corner. You can also take an old gift card and shove it in the corner. Helps out a little bit. There we go. We're going to lay it down flat, and we still have this bunched up section here, but that's okay. So we're going to take our fingers, we're going to start on an edge, on a side, and go back and forth, pressing down just ever so lightly. Before you get all the way to the other edge, turn around, and do the same thing. And I do it from all directions, and that should work out any lumps. Make sure to go back at the end here. Just to view every side, make sure it's not lumped up anywhere, make sure it's in place as it should be. Ah, looks good. And then your fabric is installed. For the next section, we'll be installing our eight gold magnets into the lid and the base. Uh, I have them all lined up here. I'm just going to start off by taking my file, slapping it on one of the sides, just so I always know which is the top and which is the bottom. Then we're going to get our glue, put a little dot in every corner. Magnets, keep them upright, and I'm going to insert one magnet in every corner. Then we're going to set those aside, make sure that the magnets don't fall off and stay on there. Uh, this is going to be the cleanup portion. We're going to come back with a paper towel, make sure to press down a little bit, and wipe away any glue that may have seeped out. Beautiful. We're going to grab our bottom section. There we go. Take our magnets. Now, in this portion, we're going to take our magnets, take our file off, put it on the other side. So we want to flip our magnets upside down. I'll show you why. We have our lid here. We want our magnets to stick to each other. So if this is the bottom, so be inserting in. This should not stick to here. So you can see, you might see it'll uh, reject it. Yeah, it's rejecting it there. So we want to make sure that this top portion is what comes into contact here. So we'll need to insert it down like that. So we'll just put this back on. We're going to perform the same process. We're going to put a glue into each corner. And we'll insert our magnets. Do 
this one is always the trickiest one. There we go. Again, come back with your paper towel. Press down on any that need to be pressed down on and wipe away any glue. All right, the bottom and top are now complete. You can put in your bar on any of the spots. This should be a tight fit so that it does not come out easily. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's move on to the trays. All right, the tray is going to be five pieces here. Uh, I could have two ends, two little ends, and two long end edges. We're going to just fit them all together just like we did the lid and the bottom there. I'm going to take our super glue. Again, glue in all the tabs. Glue ripping down here. All the tabs. All at once there. Then you can lift up the sides. If you're confident, you can just go around really quick. Perfect. Hold it all together for about 10 seconds or so. Just to make sure it's a nice fit. The glue stays tacky. If any overages, go ahead and wipe them away. And all you gotta do is wait for this piece to dry. Once you have your trays assembled, you can take any of your several dividers. We're gonna just slot it into place. Uh, this should be a tight fit, and that's just to make sure that they don't fall out on you. You don't need to glue them into place. There we go. And then you can insert as many as you want into all the slots.